Welcome back to Business Today. Retail outlet Navas is on an expansion spree and its chief commercial officer says more stores are slated to be opened despite the pandemic. On captains of industry, Brenda Karobo hosts Willie Kimani on the state of retail in the country. Naivas entered the retail scene 30 years ago in July 1990. The chain has been a fully family-owned business since inception up until February 2020, when the French private equity firm Amendis bought a 30% stake but still live in the family with a controlling stake of 70%. Willy Kimani is the chief commercial officer at Naivas with over 15 years experience in the retail sector. Before joining Naivas, he worked for Tuskies and Uchumi supermarkets. Willy Kimani's mantra is to make other people's lives better. Kimani, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. We really appreciate. Most companies fired a lot of people, especially at the height of the pandemic last year in 2020. But for Nivers, it was the opposite because you opened more stores than ever. Is this something that we likely hold even this year? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, in the coming months, we actually have um, we have around eight stores coming in, and. Um, what I can actually say about our expansion, it's just not expanding. It's also about getting proper learnings, understanding when to do what, looking at every unit, if it's profitable or not. So if a unit is not profitable, we shut it down. And I'm happy to say actually all our units are actually profitable at the moment. So that it's just not opening and opening most stores. The, the problem is not in expansion. We are only 69 stores and we have a very big gap. If you go towards Kangemi, uh, Kawangware, no store. Go to Isiolo, no store. Go, go to some areas of the western side, no store. Go to Voi, no store. As in there's so much opportunity within the Kenyan sphere for us to grow. We're talking about modern trade being only 30% uh, of, of, of the larger uh, uh, retail space. So we can actually triple the current setup without affecting much. When you look at sales, what has been the greatest demand? Is it sanitizers? Is it food? Where have you seen demand the most? Uh, food, food has actually been the main player. Uh, food has been the main player. But also as a shock, was an unique way whereby electronics came out as one of the top categories that grew. People stayed at home. People realized they need to actually make their homes better. People realize, oh, guess what? I now need, I have always been using the office microwave. I need my microwave. I need one too. So the home appliances uh, somehow grew. Uh, the small domestic appliances, uh, home electronics uh, uh, has been one where we will have expected not to have that kind of much growth. But and we actually ended up having some more growth better than how it was. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, uh, uh, came in what did not work. We of course have uh, seasonal items. Kenyans, we are a gifting company. Uh, we, we, when it comes to weddings, all the crockeries that we buy, nothing. Clothes, people will actually we dress well and all that when you're going to work. That didn't happen. So we actually are stuck with that. We plan ahead. We had um, the success cards for kids, buying enough uh, back to school items, Kiwi, you know, <laughs> all that didn't move. We got stuck up with a lot of back to school items and all that. And so on one side, food, uh, normal FMCG products selling on the other side, items centric to seasonal, seasonalities did actually normal. So your crockery items, your stationary items. Uh, and that's what we actually hope now. We are, we are very happy. Schools are open. Um, things are going to move, as in... You can already start seeing uh, traction because the school industry also supports very many other people behind it. The teachers, the support staff, institutions, uh, towns where institutions are the main drivers around those areas. And, and so we actually feel a lot of 
that and we believe in the right way as long as of course we are able to keep um, the COVID numbers uh, in check. So do you always shop at Naivas or you go to other retail outlets to even spy on them? Uh, um, I'm a retailer uh, and we, we, we learn a lot from each other. Um, I, of course I'm a diehard Naivas shopper myself. Uh, if I can't shop in my own outlet, uh, it becomes hard for us to say anything else. We shop a lot. We are all ourselves. We shop a lot. We are always in our stores trying to make sure that we actually remedy things. As in, our fresh is our main mandate. And for us, our fresh to make and to lead by example, we are always on top there. But of course, I'll always walk into other stores. I'll always walk in and to actually check. And, and I always meet also with... Uh, if I can call them uh, my, my, my industry peers coming into my stores to also check out how we are doing things. And I'm happy to say that in most cases, when I implement things and we implement as a team, we go into other stores and we see that they have also implemented. It definitely means they have also been coming to look at what exactly we're doing. It, leadership is not easy. Uh, um, but at the same time, it's leadership with care, with caution. Um, we study a lot. We go even to the outside markets. Um, of course, with the current uh, travel restrictions and all that, we have kept it internal, but we go in, we, we, we travel a lot. So most of the local retail outlets are either closing down or they are being acquired. So what exactly is Naivas doing differently that has ensured it has stayed in the top five so far? I, I'll say one thing. The, the, the most important thing has been the focus of the customers. Our inverted pyramid approach really helped us whereby clearly the focus is actually at that particular level. Our interaction with the customer, product, and getting our suppliers, and making sure our suppliers are also happy. So interaction with our suppliers is very important. Making sure our customers are okay, but at the same time making sure that there's a bridge in between never saving you money, and never surveilling everything that you need, and also looking at the Pareto rule, which is I have to make sure that my core items, the 20% that's giving me my 80%, is well taken care of, but how I mix this other remaining 80% where Brenda clearly only buys this product, not so many people buy it, and making sure that I satisfy her without interfering or investing and paying for items that are slow movers using money from fast moving items. So that cash flow management. And I have to say one thing, um, we are very happy that we had a very timely period within which we had Amethyst join us. So Amethyst who came in with other different players into the market, they bought shares into Naivas and together we are actually formulating a whole new way of actually working. Making sure that we have a better approach. We, corporate governance has of course has ailed many Kenyan businesses that of course Naivas has had a very strong uh, bit on that, fixing that from the word go. You've had very many indulgence, making sure that our financial progress is actually there, making sure our suppliers are happy, paying on time, um, and everybody is actually well aligned towards the whole element. And most important, going back again to the inverted pyramid and making sure that our staff are actually well motivated to actually uh, deliver the Naivas promise. So what worries you about the retail sector? I will say the macro environment has been um, shaky because of, of course, COVID and all other things. But I will say demand exists. Now, the customer is becoming more and more uh, uh, demanding and in a positive way. So consumption habits are changing. The customer is more educated and more informed. Uh, and that change and that constant change, what keeps us awake every night is to make sure that we are a step ahead to make sure that we actually deliver that Kenyan promise and that customer promise that indeed as they study uh, things to do with um, nutritional elements and uh, technology advancement of HE and HEs, that we are actually the ones at the forefront. But, 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 uh, but apart from that, uh, I will say we need a stronger retail market. We need everybody strong. We need, and that includes also our competitors. So it's not about just gaining market share, but it's also having a stable retail market.